hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video we are going to revise a question which is coming from 2023 gce 2023 gce science paper one on a topic known as electricity right so without further ado let's go straight into this revision so the question reads 2023 gce science paper one uh, this is the B8, which reads the figure B8.1 shows an electric circuit with a 5V ohm resistor R connected to a 12V volt supply. So here we have this as an electric circuit, so in which we have uh, a 5 ohm resistor here, which is connected to a 12V volt supply. So we have to study this figure before we go ahead with the answering. We look at this, which has a V and a circle. This is known as a voltmeter. So this one is a voltmeter, which measures voltage. And this one with a circle and the A inside it is an ammeter. Okay. So ammeter measures the current. So this one is for voltage. This one is for current. Then the question A says state Ohm's law. State Ohm's law. So we are going to state Ohm's law here. We'll put our solutions here. Okay. So this is A. So Ohm's law states that um, the current through a conductor is directly proportional to the uh, voltage or potential difference provided temperature and other physical con uh, physical quantities of the conductor are kept constant. So we are going to say that uh, current through a conductor is directly proportion to the voltage then we are told provided temperature and other physical quantities of the conductor are kept constant. So that is what Ohm's law states. It states that the current that flows through a conductor like this one is directly proportional to the uh, voltage provided other conditions such as temperature and other physical quantities are kept constant. This simply means if the voltage is doubled, then current also get doubled in the same ratio. So mathematically, this means that um, uh, voltage is directly proportional to current. So this symbol here is a symbol which represents uh, proportionality, which means that uh, when the voltage increases, current also increases in the same ratio. So this usually goes to like this, V equals, then we put the R, and this is current. Now where this R, this R, is just a constant of proportionality of proportionality and then apart from it being a constant proportionality it stands for resistance so this stands for resistance of the conductor so in other words this is also Ohm's law stated as in form of an equation. Okay. 
So let's move to question B. Question B, we have part one here, which says B part one, calculate the readings of the instruments labeled A and D. B. So we need to calculate the readings for A and B. So A, which is an ammeter, measures current. Okay. So meaning they need us to calculate current. Then V, which is a voltmeter, measures voltage. So they need us to calculate voltage. So what we do here, for us to calculate fifth current, we need to just use the same equation Ohm's law, which says uh, voltage is equal to uh, resistance times current. Now, if you want to make current the subject of the formula, first of all, you divide by resistance here, also by resistance here. Why? Because we are calculating phase current. That's why we need to make it the subject of the formula. So this one goes, this one goes. We remain with it. I is equal to, then here we have voltage over resistance, which will be equal to, so here we'll pick voltage is actually this one here. 12 volt, you put it here 12 volt over, then resistor, it is this one here, 5 ohms, you fix it here. So if you divide 12 divided by 5, you get 2.4, then current is measured in amps, so you put like that. So that will be the reading which will be shown by uh, here, that will be read by the ammeter. Then the reading that will be read by the voltmeter is the voltage across here. So the voltage across here is actually the voltage coming here. So here no need to calculate because uh, we are not told the internal resistance of the cell. So since we don't know the internal resistance of the cell, all we are provided with is just the external resistance of the uh, circuit. So we know the external resistance of the circuit, therefore, through that, we can just deduce that the potential difference being measured here, it is the same voltage which is coming in here, okay? This is the same voltage which is coming here, which is the potential difference, or the voltage which is there that is pushing electric charges across this part here. So therefore we can say that in A, here A, you, the reading which is there is 2.4 amps. Then in V, the reading which is there is just 12 volts. Okay, I hope that is very clear to you. Then let me just wrap this part and then use it to answer this question. So we are now answering question B, Roman numero two, which says, uh, which says, what is, what is the cost of using resistor R? for six hours a day for 30 days if the power costs a 15 mwe per kilowatt. So they are asking us to calculate the cost of using this resistor here for six hours a day for 30 days if the power costs 15 mwe per, uh, per kilowatt hour. So what we should know is for us to know the cost, cost which I write like cost of using electric energy is supposed to be the same electric energy used times unit price. Or we can say unit cost, yeah. We can just put unit cost, yeah. So, however, we don't know electric, uh, electrical energy used here. However, electrical energy is given by power 
time c um you can also say times time but in this case it will be power times what times the um sorry yeah so electric energy is power times time sorry so meaning here we'll put equals electric energy or we'll substitute it with that this is that so meaning here we'll put power times time times now this same one here unit cost so when we do that we'll see that um, we have the cost our cost is here which we can substitute here our time is here which we can put here on t then p is power we don't have power but since we are dealing with this resistor we can find that power is given by voltage times current and voltage is this one here and current is what we got 2.4 so voltage is 12 times 2.4 so if we do the multiplication of that let's see um 2.4 times 12, 28.8. So we are getting 28.8. This one is supposed to be in watts. However, here guys, you have to be very, very careful. Whenever you are measuring or calculating electrical energy or cost of using electricity, you need to convert power from watts into kilowatts by dividing it by 1000 because we are using kilowatt hour as units so you also have to convert watts into kilo because this is the thing which is there so we divide by 1000 which will give us 0 0.0288 then kilowatts so this one becomes our power. So we can say equals, now we have our power 0 0.0288 times our time. Time is eight hours. In a day, they are using it only for six hours. I mean, for then how many days? For 30 days. So today, six hours, another day, six hours. So you can add this one for 30 days, okay? So, in other words, you are just multiplying 6 times 30. So, 6 times 30, you are getting 180. So, here you are going to have time here. Total time now, it will be 180 times cost per unit. Unit cost is this one, 15. So, you put 15. Then you say equals then we are going to multiply everything like here. 0 0.0288 times 180 times 15 we are getting 77.76 77.76 so you put the unit for the amount which is the so this is the cost now of using electrical energy. So this is how you have to answer such questions. So this question came from one of my uh, learners in my online tuition group. So if you want to join my online revisions, you contact me on 0977924175 for science going at 120 question. So this can be for GCE, also for uh, grade 12 in Deno. For now, guys, bye and see you in the next video. Peace.